thank you for having me back in this video. Today we shall be looking at how we take our trade using um, Stokati. Our major emphasis today will be on Stokati. How do we trade using Stokati system? Now, what are the importance of Stokati to our trading entry? These are many more we are going to be discussing in this video. So without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Today I am on I am on one hour chart of of Great Britain USD, which is the cable. Now I have my stochastic A. These are my stochastic. This is the way I use my stochastic to take an entry. Now, if you look at this chart, you will quite agree with me that it is basically different to the to the chart I've been using in analyzing my trade. And most of the time, what I do in most cases is this. I tend to put this in a different system. And I also have the other chart in a different system so that I'll be able to do a top-down analysis. Now, from this from here, you will agree with me that this stochastic is quite different to what we have from our broker stochastic. This is a very different one entirely. But this is a customized one that I bought during my early days of trading. And this, these are, and it has been proving very, very effective. And I've been using it for a very long time and it's working for me. So I want to share this with you so that, uh, and if you need this stochastic, what you, all you have to do is comment in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel. Then I will get, I will find a way of sending it to you directly. Now, here is, here is one hour chart of gravity. Now, if you look at this chart from here, you will agree with me. Now, let, I have to magnify the chart a little bit so that we can be able to do our analysis effectively. Now, if you look at this stochastic from here, immediately we have this, we have an evolving pattern. That is, we have two or more candles. Consolidation in a consolidative way, that is, they are, consolid they are consolidating together. Then we continue to have what? We continue to have a change of what? A change of color of this stochastic. Now, let me magnify the color so that we can get it effectively. So I'm trying to magnify the color from here. I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change the size of the color so that we can get it, we can see it very clearly. So I'm changing it here. I'm still changing it here now. Very good. So if you look at this place now, you will agree with me that from here. <laughs> sorry about this. You agree with me that for immediately we have a change. That is, we have an engulfing pattern around this place. That is, we are having two or more candles from here. What happened? The price continue to do. I mean, the stochastic continue to show a kind of red move. That is, that's a red move from here. This stochastic continue to show what we refer to as red. That is, it is no longer the move that that is this one that is going on before. It is no longer pronounced. And this is telling us that at this very red signal, as a trader, we need to take a lot of precaution. That is, we need to stop whatever we are doing and continue to look for either a break of an uptrend or a break of a downtrend. Now, basically from here, we have a break of what? A break of a downtrend. Are you getting it now? We have a break of a downtrend by this very candle. Now, this template, that is this software that I'm using, we basically draw a line on a candle that break. Now, if you look at this very offline, off white line that is being drawn around this place, it is telling me that this very uh, candle is an engulfing pattern. So I have an engulfing pattern, and this engulfing pattern from here is also corresponding with changing of color of my stochastic. That is basically my stochastic change color from here. It change color around this place. So when we are trading, we must identify an engulfing pattern. And this very particular software has been able to identify an engulfing pattern for me. It has been able to tell me what candles has engulfed, what candle is going to engulf. And now, immediately, 
I have this information at my disposal. Look at what happened from here. Now let's see what happened around this place. You will agree with me that around this place, immediately it breaks down, then the candle continues to, I mean, the prices continue to move down. It continues to move down until they move down to this place and we have close of the market. Now, I'm still going back to, now let's go back to, let's go back to 15 minutes. Now I want to draw a line around this place. Let me draw a line around this place for us to be able to see. I'm going to draw a line for us to be able to see what can do actually and go from here. Now let me change how to yeah how to derail the so that we can use it effectively. I'm changing the color and I'm changing it to so I'm doing this. Then changing the color, how to make the color more thicker. Uh, this is a so that I can use this for a proper analysis. Now, these are the look at this from here. This is the this is the candle that I'm looking that I'm looking to break from here. Look at it from here. So immediately I go back to 15 minutes, I should be able to spot this very candle. Now, this is my 15 minutes chart from here. Now let me reduce the chart a little bit so that we can get it properly. Now this is where we have an engulfing pattern in in one hour. And these are the candles that engulf. Now what happened in one hour? This software was able to identify the engulfing pattern for me. It was able to tell me, okay, this is the engulfing this, this is the country that they go by drawing a line on it. Now, if you look at this place, now let's go back to one hour and see that line. Now, here is the line that I'm talking about. Look at the line that I'm talking about from here. This very line was drawn from this very country. By using this very country, the line was drawn around this place. Now, this is telling us that while we are trading, we must wait for an engulfing pattern. If you look at this, very two candles, these two candles that is here. Now, the reason why I'm emphasizing on a govy pattern is that a govy pattern we allow our stochastic to change direction. It will give us that it will tell us that okay, fine. This this has changed, then we're going to have what we're going to have a move that going down. Now look at it from here. immediately it crosses from here. Look at it from here, it goes, it goes down. Immediately there's an engulfy pattern, we have a very true move of a downtrend. Now, there are many changing of colors of this stochastic from here. If you look at this place from here, now, let's take it from around this place. Let's start from here. Let's look at this very area, this very place. Now, this happened during the Tokyo section, and that's why you see that there are no a pronounced move, that the, the move are not very pronounced in during the Asia section. Now, from here now, you will agree with me that from here, look at it from here, we have this very candle to be what to allow this place to cross up. Look at when they cross up, they continue to move. They form a red candle where we have piece of consolidation. That is, we have one or more bearish candle coming together. So they begin to form red. That's where you see red, red moon. That's where you see that the stochastic continue to form what we refer to as red. Now, look at it from here. It moves again. Now, once we move again, look at the way it goes. Now, immediately we have the Asia section. That is, the Asia, the Asia section get out of the way, and we have the London open. Now, immediately we have the London open. Look at what happened. We're going to have the move to go up. Then, during the New York section, we have a complete downtrend of what of the of the price. We have a complete downtrend of the prices. Now, let's move down to 15 minutes. 15 minutes will be able to give us a vivid information that is a clear information about how I use my stochastic. Now, I want to reduce it a little bit. Now, look at it from here. Look at it from here. Now, this is the line that I drew from that area. Now, because I'm having an engulfing pattern in a bigger time frame, then what else do I need? I need to start looking for where my stochastic will still cross again in 15 minutes for me to take a perfect entry. Look at it from here. Look at, look at look at the move from here. Look at where immediately it crosses. Immediately we have an engulfing pattern around this place. This is the candle that engulfs 
in one hour. This, these are the candles that engulf. That is from here, here, and here. This very four candles is one hour candle. So, and these are the pronounced one. These are the candles. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. These are the candles that is giving an engulfing pattern. And because this one is, is a trough, it moves very, very high. That is, the move is very, is very high. Immediately you see a candle that moves very, that has a very longer move. Then you need to do what? You need to exercise a lot of patience. Don't trade that longer move. Allow a lot of candles, allow more other candles to perform their action. Look at it from here. Look at this place now. It has a very long move. Even the move in one hour extends to this area. So we don't take this because it is too long. So what we have to do now is to allow our stochastic to have a move, probably to move up or to move down. If you look at this place now, you will agree with me that the stochastic from A move down. Look at it from look at the way it moves. The stochastic around this place. Once the prices move up, then we have our stochastic coming down. From here, and immediately it comes down and it's in agreement with the stochastic of one hour. That is the most important thing. You have to identify the agreements of that stochastic. It has to be, it has to agree with the stochastic of one hour. Immediately you have that, then you use your 15 minutes to begin to assess the position of what of the market. That is. If when the stock when the stochastic of one or of a, of how do I call of one of a, one hour a chain and this probably change and they move on is the stochastic in fifteen minutes already down is it at oversold area if you look at it from here now you agree with me that immediately we have this stochastic for me when this one two three four these are the four candles that perform the actions in one hour immediately we have this what do we have we have our stochastic to be messing up at down. So in that case, we cannot take any trade around this place. In that case, we cannot take decision because our stochastic of one hour, which is going to be the drivers that will drive that of 15, that of one hour, has been won, has been has been down. So the 15 minute stochastic is down. So we cannot take any meaningful decision at that point. So we need to exercise a lot of patience while we are trading at that area. Now, if you look at this place, now look at it from here. Immediately we get to this place, look at it, immediately we get here. So immediately the stochastic comes, it reverses, it reverses off. Look at it, when it passes off to this place, then what do we have from here? We have what? We have the run down, continue to have the run down up to this, up to the up to the close of the New York section. That is how we look at stochastic from a different time frame. Now, let's see if we can have, we look at stochastic from a different time frame. Now, let's go back to five minutes. Now, let's go back to where I have my, I have my drawing. Let's see if we can get there. So, we are still moving. Yeah, still moving in five minutes. And I think, we. Yeah. Okay, fine. So look at this from here. You see this from here. Immediately, look. At, you, you see the decent move of of the stochastic in five minutes. That it is more smoother than what you have in fifteen minutes. Now look at what we have from here. Now immediately the stochastic move down, and there is a cross of the system moving average. Look at the moving average around this. Even before that cross, we've got the cross in one in one hour. Then, what we begin to look for is that we begin to look for our stochastic in the direction of a bigger time frame. That is the basic rule of trading with stochastic. We have to look at our, our stochastic in the direction of a bigger time frame. Now, if you look at this place now, look at it from here. Now, let's see, let's consider it from here. Here is, a, look at the stochastic from here. Look at it. Immediately, we have... It moved from here. Look at well, immediately they cross to this place. Look at look at the crossing from here. So are you seeing this now? Immediately the the, the, the prices move down. Look at the way our stochastic rehab. The stochastic rehab like this. Look at the way it goes. It goes down up to this very major area. So immediately they move from here. Look at if we move from here. Look at look at the prices. Prices continue to run down. They continue to run down. They continue to run down. They run down up to this place. 
Now, immediately they get to this place, what do we have from that, from that angle? We have a very serious move. When they did the stochastic cross, we have a very serious move down to what? Down to a downtrend. Because this stochastic that we are talking about here is in agreement with the stochastic of what? With the stochastic of our one hours that we got from our one hour. Now, let's move down again. Let's see another situation that we have from here. Look at, look at the situation from here. You see this now. Look at the stochastic from here. Immediately, the stochastic cross around this place. And this is now below the price, basically below the 60 moving average. Now, immediately they cross from this place. What do we have from here? The prices continue to do what? Continue to move down. Look at the stochastic continue to do what? The stochastic changed. It changed. It, it basically changed because that is how it is designed. Now, you will not take a trade. Here we have the red flag. Look at the red flag. No trade from here. Now, this is where you take your trade from here. Look at the way you take this trade from here. Because we are having a red flag from here. So, both are not trade. You cannot take a trade from here. You can only take a trade from where we have this blue. I mean, we have this yellow line coming down. And you can also take a trade where we have this yellow line coming up. But I would not advise you to take, this, to take this trade. Why? Because it is not the basic direction that we have in a bigger time frame, like one hour and what and four hours. So we cannot take that direction. Now, let's move down again. Let's move down again. Look at the way immediately we have the crossing from one hour. Look at the way it continues to run from here. Look at the way it run. Look at the way it run. Continue to run. Continue to run. And it run down to the close of what? To the close of New York. New York Open. And this is the law. This is our Asia section. Look at the Asia section around this place. So these are the way you compare the stochastic. And in between the move, look at it from here. If you look at the move from here, in between a downtrend, we are still seeing an uptrend. That is the basic way of the trend. That is how trend move you. In between the line, you must see what? You must see a downtrend. There is no doubt about that. Because if you look at this place now, look at it from here. Immediately we got this move from here. Immediately we got it from here. We got the move from here. Then what do we have? We continue to have a downtrend. Then we have the we have the red we have the red flag. We have an uptrend. We have the red we have the downtrend. We have an uptrend. Then we have also have what? We also have a downtrend. Now, if you want to take decision using this stochastic, or if you are a scalper, you always scalp your trade during time of day then what you need to do is, is to pay attention first to a bigger time frame in one hour. Let's go back to one hour. Let's go back to one hour and see how our one hour is moving. Now, you take your decision from one hour. Look at it from here. Are you seeing it now? That the one hour has already engulfed. No doubt about that. We have an engulfing pattern in one hour. Immediately we got this engulfing patterns in one hour, then what do we do? We move down to what? To a shorter time frame, like five minutes, one minute to take our trading decision. These are the way we take our trade from index forex trading 60. This is what we'll be using. So very soon we shall be going, we shall be going to live trading. I'm going to tell you how I use this, how I use my one minute chart to take an entry with one minute. And now I use it for my binary options. How I take a trade using binary options with my one minute chart. Immediately I have my signal, then I take a trade using binary, I mean, using one minute chart with my binary option. These are what I'm going to explain in probably in the next video that I'm going to come up with. I'm working on that video and I'm going to come up with that. So let's go back again. Let's go back again. Let's see how things are running. Now let's go back again. Let's see. Now, you will agree with me that, okay, let's take our analysis from here. Let's see if this is going to, let's take our analysis from here. Now, let's see how, now from here we are having, from here, I'm sorry about this. Uh, okay, fine. From here, now this is what we're doing in five minutes. Now, let me take it around this place. So from here, we are having an engulfing pattern. From here, this is the candle that break during the London 
open. This is the country that break during the London open. Now, let's take this out and now move down to a shorter time frame to see how things are revolving around that side. Now, let's move down to five minutes. Now, immediately now, before we move down to five minutes, immediately we have this. Look at the stochastic from A. Look at the way. I'm just what I'm trying to explain is I'm explaining how you can combine your oscillator. It might not be stochastic. It could be RSI. It could be. It could be. It could be, it could be other form of uh, 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 oscillator. Now, this is how you combine your oscillator with your shaft during time of day. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Now, from here now, look at it from here. Look at the move from here. So immediately we have this, this crossing. Now, before then, you will agree with me that from here, we have this candle. We have this software that I'm using, that is the template I'm using here, has been able to identify the candle that engulfs around this candle. That is from this very candle from here, one, two, three, four. This candle that is here is the one that engulfs, and there's a line that was drawn on that candle, on that engulfing pattern. Now, immediately we have that line. Look at it from here. Look at the move. The move trace down to this place. Look at our stochastic begin be, be, become very yellow. And um, before that stochastic become very yellow, if we go back to the top of this place, you will agree with me that there is a red flag around here. This red flag is telling you no trade. It's telling us there is no trade around this place. So you shouldn't be trading while we are having what we are having the red flag, telling us that the world, telling us that the market is about to change direction. Now let's move down to five minutes. Let's move down to five minutes and continue to see the line that we have drawn from five minutes and see how things are going to work. Now I'm still moving down to five minutes. I'm moving away from five minutes. I'm moving into five minutes rather. Now let's continue to go. This is going to be a very top-down analysis of our trading. So we have to be patient. We have to be patient. Very good. Now, here is our five minute chart. I think here is our five minute chart. Let, let, let's go back a little bit. I think we're still going to have something better than this. Coming. Coming, going back. Still going back. Okay, let's walk down. I think we have got to where we are before in one hour. Now let's move down again. I'm still moving back to one hour. So this is how I'm sorry, this is how the the template is the template is like that so sometimes we need to good now look at it look at the line that i drew in in one in one hour look at the line that i drew in one hour i drew this line in one hour to indicate where we have our engulfing pattern now our engulfing pattern around this place this is where we have our engulfing pattern and immediately we got this engulfing pattern we do what we we in five minutes, this is where we have our engulfing pattern. This very candle engulf this very candle engulf this highest candle. This candle from here, if you look at it from here, this line that is here, this line that is here, this line and this line is the candle that engulf. But this very candle engulf in a perfect way. It engulf. This is this is this very candle engulf in a very perfect way. It giving us a perfect way of an engulfing pattern. And now, if you look at this place now, this very candle also engulfed, but this is more pronounced. Now, this very candle is more pronounced than this candle. So if I'm taking my engulfing pattern, I'm taking my engulfing pattern around this place. Now, if I have to draw a line to see where my stochastic start from, look at it. This is where the stochastic start from. And I can still move down to this place to continue to ride the market down to this place. Now, immediately, the stochastic come down. Look at the move. Immediately they come down from here. Look at the way it continues to go. It continues to ride down. It ride down. It ride down. It ride down. It ride down up to this place. Now, this is how you use your stochastic to gauge the direction of the market. To tell you that, okay, once you go and got the pattern in a bigger time, frame, it is not enough for you to take that entry. Now, you have to walk down to a shorter time frame, like one, like one minute, Five minutes, fifteen minutes to see if 
the stochastic, if the, if the reaction of the price is oversold or is overbought, these are what you are going to consider. Is, is, the, is the price oversold for you to take a down direction? Is the price over, overbought for you to take what? For you to take a short direction. So, there, is, there are no two ways about it. You need to begin to grow your system. You need to have patience while trading this system. It is not a system that you, it, it is not for you to enter that tree when you see an ergovic pattern in a shorter time, in a bigger time frame. A bigger time frame, my God, but it, it is not enough to take a trading decision. Now, let's move down again. Let's see how the stochastic continue to work. Look at it from here. Because these are the lines that are grown in one hour. And look at the way it extends to this place. Look at the line. These are, these are the, this black line is what I drew in one hour. And look at the reaction of my stochastic towards that line that I've drawn. Now, if you look at this place now, we have what? We have what we refer to an ergonomic pattern from here. And there is a change of my stochastic. From here, you do what? You exercise patience. I don't agree that you have to you have to do a counter trend, a counter trend direction. It is not advisable. You understand? Because most of the time when you counter trend, that is when you counter your direction, sometimes it goes very bad against your work, against your decision. Now against your overall direction. Now look at it from here. You cannot take a trade from here. Don't do that. Wait for this basic direction to do what to move down. Now, here we, this is where we are now. Here is still telling us that there are no trades. Because at this red flag, it's telling us that we cannot take a trade from this very red flag. So, I just want you to understand how I use my stochastic to take a trade. Now, we cannot take a trade from this very red flag. It is not advisable. Don't take a trade with this very red flag. It is not advisable. Now, this is where you continue to look at a basic downtrend from here. Look at it from here. Immediately it happened from here. What do we see? We continue to see a run down to this place. And this very place that you, we are looking at from here, this very boss, look at this boss, is a London open. And this London open. Now it is now what it is now intersects. There is an overlapping section of London Open and that of New York Open. How do I know? Now this is why uh, this is the reason. The, the, the this very line that, that you are seeing here, this very blue line that we are having around this place is New York Open. Now London Open has opened basically from this place. Look at where we have a London Open. They open from this place. The London has been moving, has been moving. Immediately, we have our New York open. Look at the overall direction. Look at the direction from here. So, when we have two or more sections consolidating together, two or more sections moving together, it is telling us that we're going to have, we're going to have high level of volatility. And that is where we experience the volatility that we see in the market. This is where we experience those volatility. This is where we experience those volatility that we see in that direction. Now, if you look at this place now, let's look at it from here. Let's look at it from here. We discover that immediately this form, look at the reaction. Already we have a pass, the, the market pass, that up, it bounces up, it comes down after the gap. This one you are looking at now is the gap. Is the gap of the New York section. Then after the gap, we do what we continue to have a rundown until we have the London close. We have the London close from here. Immediately the London close. My dream, whenever we have the London close towards the New York section, the New York midnight section, what we normally experience is a reversal of what? Of the overall direction. Look at it from here. Immediately we have the London close and we also have the New York midnight. Then what do we have? We have the prices moving, what? Moving to the world moving to a down to changing direction towards what we have previously. Now, after then, because, because we are still on New York section, look at the move from here. So the most move down because we are on a down trade. Like I have told you, you don't trade, you don't counter your trade. Don't take a decision. Even your stochastic is giving you 
an entry. Because most of the time, when you are trading that trading, stochastic could be changing their direction. Look at it, it could be changing their direction. Look at it for me. I did not change their direction. They change up. Immediately they change up. That does not mean you should take a counter direction. And mind you, immediately we have the London close. We have the New York. We have the London close with the new with the New York midnight. This dotted line we have here is the New York midnight. We have the New York midnight. Then what do we have from that? You have to do what you have to take your trade out. Then you wait for what you wait for. What will be the, the, the reaction of the closing of the London close? Now most of the time, this are the, I mean basically these are the reaction. Of the London close. Immediately we have the London close, we are going to have a change of price. That is, we are going to have prices changing their direction. They are going to move from what? From the direction. There's going to be a reversal around, around that time. Now, if you are the type that love trading the London close, what you do is you, you exercise patient until you have the London close, then you come back, you see what is the direction of the London close. And the London close is going to give us. A change of direction and basically in this very period in this very chart that we are trading on they gave us a change of what a change of direction look at it from here we have the direction being changed around this place look at it. the direction change around here the change and once they got to where they got to this place look at it from here immediately they move up they continue to move the price change direction it moved to this place it consolidated around this place it changed again because they are still trading on the on the on the moving average. So immediately they they it turned back again. Look at the way it goes. It goes back because we are still on a down trade. We cannot take a down direction. We cannot take an up direction. To me, I don't take it. I don't counter trade my direction. I trade the basic direction. So immediately this happens. Look at what happened from here. We see this. We see. A downtrend because you to see our stochastic changing, but majorly what we are looking at is the behavior of our stochastic from what happened from a bigger time. When you get an engulfing pattern in a bigger time frame, like daily chart, four hours, one hour, and also 30 minutes. Once you have those changes, how does your stochastic react in a shorter time frame? Now, if you look at my stochastic from here, once I got my and government pattern, look at it from here. Immediately I got my government pattern from this very area. This is where I got my government pattern because I've drew my line. This is where I got the government pattern from here. I've drawn it from, from one hour. I drew a line from one hour. This is where I got my government pattern around this place. So immediately they go around here. Look at what happened from here. Look at the reaction. Now what I'm telling you, stochastic is going to behave. It's going to mimic the action of the price is going to mimic the action of the price. Stochastic is going to change direction. It's possibly going to mimic the action of the prices. Now, immediately we had this information. What do we do? We continue to look for what? We continue to look for an entry. We to look for an entry. We got the move from here. It goes down to this place. We have this place coming down. Look at stochastic continue to see. It continue to move up. We continue to get messy around this place after that we have what we have a run up then we have a downtrend we have a run up we have a downtrend so but the major idea is that the stochastic has changed what has changed in a bigger time frame so because it has changed in a bigger time frame we have to do what we have to follow that change that happened in a bigger time frame it has changed to a downtrend it basically changed around this area it changed around this area now we have to do what we have to follow that direction so it might be forming a kind of different shape it might be forming a kind of wave shape but we have to know that the wave that we are looking for is a down direction we have to stick to that that to that down direction that is the basic way of looking at the trading from what from a shorter from a bigger time frame to a shorter time frame now, let's move down to Let's move down to our uh, to our one minute chart again. I'm sorry about this. Let's move down to our one minute chart and see how we can use it to analyze our trading. Let's move down to our shorter time frame. 
I want to go back to where we have our, our, where I drew those lines. If probably I will be able to get there. Now, this is the first line that I've drawn. This is the line from here. Now, let's move down again. Let's see if we can still get data information from the one I was analyzing before. I'm still moving, please. I'm still moving. I am still moving. I'm still moving. I'm still moving. I'm still moving. Just want to see if we can get there because most of the time the chart might not load up to that place. But if it doesn't load, we see the way we can analyze the trend. So it doesn't load to that area. Now let's move back a little bit. Let's see how things are moving from here. Let's see if I'm good there. I'm still moving. I'm still moving. Still moving. So we are working with historical values, historical information. So we are still moving back to see. Okay, okay fine. So this is the one that I drew previously. This is the line that I drew from a bigger time frame. This is the line that I drew from a bigger time frame. This is the line that I drew from a bigger time frame. So look at the line from here. So this is the line that I drew from a bigger time frame. I drew this line. Look at when the prices do what the prices and go. Then look at how the trend continues to move down to this place. Still moving down. Look at the way we continue to have a major move down of the price. To a down direction that way it's moving so this is how you use your shorter time frame to get the overall direction of what of the of the train this is where you use your shorter time frame to get the overall direction of the train now the essence of trading with stochastic in the shorter time frame is to be able to identify that okay when i have a bigger time frame that is when i have a move that is because most of the time this system, I use it when I'm trading binary option, or probably I'm, take, I'm taking a trade, I'm taking a short, a mid, a, I mean, a scalping, a, 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 what I refer to as a time of day trading. This is the system I use. Immediately, I see an ergonomic pattern, like one I saw in one hour from here. Now, let's look at the one hour. Immediately, this engulf from here, look at it. Immediately, I have an ergonomic pattern from here. What I will be waiting for is my reaction of the stochastic in a shorter time frame. Allow your stochastic of a shorter time frame to move down before taking a decision, before taking a move, before you start taking a, a trade. So these are many more, these are the information that you believe, that we believe that is going to work. These are the things that is going to work for us. So immediately you have this engulfing pattern. Fine. What do you have? You have what we refer to as what well as a downtrend. So immediately we have that engulfing pattern around this place. We have this engulfing pattern around this place. What do we do? We move down to let's move down to one minute. Let's move down to one minute and see. Maybe we have this in one minute. Maybe we have this in one minute. Then we move down to one minute to see. We have that in one minute. In, I mean one hour. We move down to one minute to see the, the reaction. Look at it from here. Look at it from here. The basic information that this is giving us from here, this is the line that I drew in one hour. The basic information that this is giving us from here is that we cannot take a short, a long trade again. We cannot take a long trade again. That then we have to look at our stochastic in a down direction. That is from here. Immediately we have this. We look for where we continue to see our stochastic being yellow down. Look at it from here. It's yellowing down. Immediately you enter from here, just allow the market to run. Allow it to run. Look at it from here. It's going to run down. It's going to run. It's going to run. Look at the way it's running. 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 It's running down. It's running down. It's running down. Are you seeing that? 
It's running down. Are you seeing that? It's running down. It's running down. These are now. Let me confirm the chart so that you can know that it's a complete downtrend. Now, I'm trying to compress the chart so that we know that it's a complete downtrend. Look at it from here. So I've compressed it. Look at the move from here. Immediately we have that engulfing pattern. Look at it from here. Do you see that? Are you seeing this? This is where we have the engulfing pattern. Look at it from here. Look at the way it's run down. You see how the prices are running down. It's running down. It run down to this place. 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 It run down. Look at the way. Look at the way it goes. I see the way it move. Continue to move. Look at the way it move. So basically, what stochastic does is what your oscillators are doing in that direction is to give you a temporary, a, a, a manual move. Is to is to inform you that fine. We are going to have what? We are going to have a a move that is going to run down. This you have your and the government pattern in a, in a bigger time frame. Your your stochastic will continue to give you a better information when and how you are going to take your trade. Now let's go back to let's look at this. This is let's let, okay. Let me break it down. How I I get a very smooth entry when I'm trading with my stochastic. Now. Immediately I got this now. Let's go back to one hour. Look, this is our one hour chart. Because I want us to, to understand this very well. Now, this is where we have an engulfing patterns in one hour. Now, if I let me magnify it a little bit. Now, this is where we have our engulfing pattern in one hour. So this is the engulfing patterns in one hour. So immediately this happened from here. So we have a rundown to this place. We have a rundown to this place. Immediately this apple from here. We have a run down to this place. So immediately these run downs are happening from here. Look at it from here. You cannot take any from here. Now, if you, if you go back to one hour, I mean to, to shorter time frame, you cannot take an uptrend again. Even though the stochastic is giving you an up direction, you cannot go up because it will not last. So look at it from here. Now we have this now. Now, if I want to take my trade, immediately you have this now. You look at your, your 15 minutes. Is your 15 minutes also speaking the same thing with that of the govy pattern you have in a, in a bigger time frame? Look at it from here. Yes, our 15 minutes is speaking the same thing. Look at our 15 minutes chart is speaking the same thing. Now, immediately we have this information. What do we do? We go back to what? We go back to our five minutes. Now, that is you need information between five minute chart and that of one minute chart. Now, I, I will give you the information now. The information is this. Immediately you have your your an engulfing pattern. Let's see, we have an engulfing pattern in five minutes. I mean, in one hour. Immediately we got that engulfing pattern in one hour. Then we want to trade this direction. We want to take a direction. Let me compress the chart so that we can quickly move down to. So we have this. Fine. These are the move that we have in a shorter time, in a bigger time frame rather. This is where we have our engulfing pattern. This is this candle. That I drew this line that I drew from here, this black line that I drew from here is where we have our engulfing pattern. So immediately we have this engulfing pattern from here. So how do we take that tree? That is what I am trying to bring out now. How do we actually appreciate how we can take a trade using our world, using our stochastic? Now look at it from here. These are the moves that we are having from here. Uh, if I want to come up and use and combine my one minute and my one minute stochastic with that of five minutes stochastic, this is what I do most of the time. Now, from here, I have to, I have to see. Okay, basically, this is where I have my governing pattern. So I have to move down to one minute. Now, let me draw a line from here. Now, let's project a line from here. From here. This is the line from here. So this red line, now let me make it more thicker for us to be able to get a very nice analysis when we get to a bigger time frame. Now, I'm making the line more thicker. I'm making it more thicker. Now, let me give it this. Okay, fine. So this is where I got my what? I got my engulfing pattern. This is where I got my, my stochastic coming down in five minutes. This is where I got my stochastic coming down in five minutes. Now, let me plot another one. Those areas have my stochastic coming down in five minutes. 
So these are the areas I'm trying. I'm still drawing. Like I've told you, once you have a golfing pattern towards a down direction, don't counter trade. Now let's go back again. Let's see another one. This is where we also have my golfing pattern in five minutes. We have my golfing pattern in five minutes. So look at where it goes. So look at the golfing pattern from A. Now, why? How is it important? With the government, I mean, with the stochastic of what of of five minutes, I mean, of one of one minute. Now, if you look at the stochastic from here, this is the stochastic I have in five minutes. At the stochastic running down, at the stochastic running down, How is it important? What are the important of this stochastic to that of one morning? How do you combine the two together? Now, let's move down to our one minute chart. This is our one minute chart. Now, let's go back and continue to look for those lines that we have drawn, those vertical lines that we have drawn from a bigger time frame. I think I'm still going back. I think I'm still moving back. I don't know if I'm able to get there. I'm still moving back. We are still moving back to see the importance of those stochastic in a shorter, in a bigger time, shorter time frame, like one minute. I think we'll be able to get there from here. Huh? I'm not able to get that information, but the chart is not loading up to that area. The chart is not loading up to that area. Still moving back. Let's see if I'm still going to get it from here. The chart is not loading up to that area. So, but let's use our five minutes to explain. Now, what always happens is I'm going to look for another area. This is what also happen when now let's do it from here let's take it from here let me come back let me take it from here now this is my i'm taking it from here look at the stochastic from here the stochastic is down around here it's also down around here it's also down around here that is the essence of drawing this line is to explain to you that when we have the stochastic of one hour, I mean, of one hour rather, coming down, that is, that's an engulfing pattern in one hour, and we have the stochastic of, of five minutes and that of 15 minutes speaking the same thing. But majorly, when that of one minute and five minutes speak the same thing, these are the reactions. So let's see if I'm going to get there, if I'm going to get there from here. Let me try and see if I'm going to get that information from here. See if I'm going to get that information from here. And if I couldn't get it, then we look for another area that we are going to take our trade. Let's see if we are going to get this from here. Or basically, I take it from, yeah, look at it from here. Good. Now, this is the line that I drew. Now, what you are looking for is the is the place that we have the stochastic of five minutes and that of one minute to speak the same thing. Now, after you have got an overall engulfing pattern for a shorter time frame, at least after we have an overall engulfing pattern for a longer time frame, like four hours, daily sharp, or one hour. One hour is the mid-drain, that is the mid-drain for the day. Now, this is, look at it from here. Immediately, we have the Look at it from here. When both of them speak the same thing, you see the reaction from here. Look at the move from here. Now, it is telling you, now the essence of this information is, it is telling you that once you have five minutes and one minute, and, and a golfing pattern in, in, uh, in one hour, it is telling you that the, the candy, that is the, one, the next one hour candy that is going to move, that is going to move is going to move 
towards a down direction. That is why you must wait for a, correspond, a corresponding information between your bigger time frame and that of your shorter time frame. Once you are able to do that, you, once you are able to do that, you will get a very wrong move, a very run off towards that direction. Look at it from here. Look at the look at the run off from here. Look at five minutes and that of one minute when they speak the same thing. And there is an engulfing pattern in what in a shorter time frame. Then we have what we have what we refer to a bigger move to a downtrend. Look at it from here. Look at the direction from here. So this is the line that I drew in five minutes after I got an engulfing pattern from a bigger time frame. So are you seeing this now? Look at the way they move from here. They move, they run down to this place. So these are many more. These are the things you are going to see while trading. Because if you don't see, if, if the truth are not speaking the same thing, so you are going to have a series of consolidation. But immediately they agree. Look at the move. Have you seen the move from here? Look at the, when they agree from here. Now this is what I use for, for offshore trading. Immediately I see these two agreeing together. And I see an agreement pattern in the shorter time frame. I know that not that about that, that the next one hour country is going to move towards a down direction or towards, a, or towards an up direction. These are the way you take your trade while you are trading during time of day. These are the best options of taking a trade during time of day. So immediately you see this, look at it for you. Now let's move down again. Let's see. This is the first one. Let's see the second one. Let's see if we are going to get there. Good. We eventually get there. Look at it from A. So this is the where the stochastic change from. Look at it from here. This is where we have the stochastic changing. Immediately the stochastic become yellow. Then we know that we are going to have one, we are going to have a run down. Now let's calculate. If I'm taking and let's see where this candle starts from. Let's see whether I start from the top of the hour. Now this candle starts from four. It starts from four from 1044. 1044 a.m. The platform time. That is where it starts. So what you do is this. If you want to take a trade in a binary option, I'm still going to come up with a live trading. How I use binary, how I use my, my system to take entry, to get an entry using binary option. So this is the way it goes. Look at it from here. So we have 45, that means we have 15, we have 16 minutes to the end of this candle. So what I'm going to calculate now, I'm going to calculate 16 minutes. I'm going to calculate 16 minutes added to one hour. Or 15 minutes added to one hour. It's going to be 75 minutes where I'm trading a binary options. So in my next video, I'm going to come up with how I use my trading system to take binary options. So let's go back to this area. Now, now we are going to count 75 or 76 candle. Now we are still on 70, we are still on 70, 71, and now we are on 77. So this is 75, and this is 76. So this is how the trading goes. Are you getting the point now? So from here now, from here, this is telling you that from here, from here to this place, if you take a trade, Using the binary option, align the stochastic of one minute and that of five minutes, and a going pattern in what in a bigger time frame to move, then you are going to get what I refer to what what I refer to as a run down, and you are going to make a decent money around this place. Even when you take your conventional FX trading, you are going to make money trading this. So these are the way we look at the entry system. These are the way that we look at how we take our trading from a bigger time frame to a shorter time frame. Are you getting the information now? Now, how do you know that a particular candle will move? How do you know after you have waited for a very long time, after you have exhausted all your day from trading, for you to know that a particular candle will move is for you to wait and see the stochastic of what? Of a bigger time frame and go I mean coming down and that of and, and, and that's an engulfing pattern and that's a cross of the 240 moving average. Now let's go back to one hour and see if we are going to get the cross of the 240 moving average. Let's look at it from here. We are still coming up. Now look at it from here. 
because I don't have such information in a shorter time frame. It, it doesn't show. So look at it from here. This is my 240 moving average, but from here I'm having I'm having a cross. Look at it from here. I'm having a cross of what? A cross of prices is has crossed down to 60. It has also crossed down to what? To 50, and it has also crossed down to 15. So this is telling you that this is a downtrend. And this is also telling you that when these prices approach this 240 moving average, there is going to be what? If they don't break it, there's going to be a rebound. And for them to even break that 240 moving average, there must be a rebound. So these are the information that we are getting to take a trade. Now, let me take this out. Let me take all this out because we no longer need them. We no longer need them. Keep taking them out. We no longer need this, this chart again from A. So I'm taking it out. So from here now we have a complete downtrend. We have a complete downtrend. We have a complete downtrend. So look at it from here. Look at the run. This run will not have happened if the stochastic of one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes are not agreeing. If there is a disagreement between them, it will not happen. Sometimes it, it, it could be trickish. Sometimes it could be convincing. But once you have your system in, in, in that, you will know that once you see this system, things are going to work in a perfect way for us. So these are the way we look at the, uh, we look at our trade as a trader. We don't just take a decision. We don't just look at it. We, do, we don't just see a cross of a stochastic and come in immediately. These are not the way it works. We need to consider different parameters. We need to understand that while we are trading our trading, we need to take more credence to our bigger time frame. So in another in another video that I'm going to come up with. Well, I'm going to explain how I use my system for binary options. I'm still going to come up with a system how we combine all the information together. How do we combine those information together to have a better entry system? So these are what we are going to look at in the previous lesson. So as a matter of fact, I would like you to subscribe to this, to this uh, channel. Take your time, subscribe. And also like the video so that when Facebook continue to see, I mean rather when YouTube continue to see this video, when you like it, YouTube continue to push this video to large audience of people. So this is how we can grow this uh, channel together. Subscribe, like the video, and take your time to be patient. Patient is very, very important while trading. That is when we are talking about psychology of trading. Psychology of trading comes with patience. It comes with patience so that this will not allow us to make irrational decisions while we are trading. We have to be patient. These are the things. Even this system we are talking about, it comes with what it comes with a lot of patience. You cannot take a one-minute train without being patient. You have to be very, very patient while you are taking your trading. You have to look at what are those decisions. What are those things that affect my trading decision? What are those rationale that affect my trading? So these are the things that you need to look at. These are the action that you need to see. So please, while you are trading, understand the parameters of trading. Understand how does it, how, what are those things that drive your trading? Like, for example, now, if you look at your one hour, it is not enough that you have a cross. Let's say, for instance, you have a cross from this place. It is not enough for you to have a cross of this stochastic alone. It does not work that way. If you see this stochastic yellowing down, then you say, okay, fine. Since this is coming down, there is going to be work. There is going to be a downtrend. No, that is not how it works. You have to move down to a shorter time frame. Move down to a shorter time frame for you to see more, for you to know what are the actions of a shorter time frame. What are those things? What, are, what is happening in a shorter time frame? In the stochastic of one, one minute, 
five minutes and 15 minutes speaking the same thing with that of one hour. In my early days of trading, when I first start trading, after I learned all these things, it becomes so complex for me. But once I look at the stochastic, okay, fine. This trading, I'm going to take it and I'm going to make money. Once I look at the stochastic from four hours from daily, I want to see my stochastic of one hour, daily chart, four hours and five minutes, speaking the same thing. Once they are spoken the same thing, fine. Immediately, I will take that trade. And I will continue to see, okay, since everything is speaking towards a down direction, my daily chart is down, my, uh, how do I call it, my, my four hours is down, my one hour is down, my 30 minutes is down, everything is down, then fine. What do I do? I need to enter this trade. Then I'll be looking for entry in a shorter time frame. I used only stochastic to trade in those days. And these are, because I bought these stochastics since 2008. That's when I bought this system. And I've been using it for 2008. And it started proving effective in trading system. So if you need this software, all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, like the video, and let YouTube push the video to large audience of people. This will be able to assist us to do what? To reach, to grow the channel. So I want you to watch these two videos behind and these two videos so that you'll be able to understand more what is happening in what in our trading system. So I wish you good luck and I say thank you and God bless you.